Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orty Runner and welcome back to Gone Home. Right off the heels of recording the last part, literally, uh, I'm only after recording the last part a few minutes ago, I didn't even edit it, I just uh, cleaned up the audio a small bit, the audio being the commentary, and uh, yeah, I just really, really wanted to get back into this. Uh, to be sort of kind of over and done with it, but also... I really want to find out the ending. Because this is a very interesting game. Not a lot of indie games catch my eye, but this this one. This is very interesting. Especially seen as there seems to be the, a bit of a love story between Sam and Lonnie. Like, you didn't really have a lot of... Um, uh, gay or lesbian love stories in games which is kind of what I like about this N I'm not advocating for for like nonsense bullshit SJW type things but it is nice to see something that's different that that's all I'm saying like I'm pro LGBTQ and, and, and whatnot I don't care about it being in games it doesn't bother me games are games they're there to be played enjoyed like him and love him for the story and the gameplay. Like, it's not really focused around her sexuality either. It's sort of what led up to it. And it's not just mainly focused around Sam. It's, it's about the parents. It's about Katie. Like, what their life is like. Uh... Their interests, their their hobbies. I mean, the house itself is the story. It tells a story. It's, it's very it's very deep for what it is. Anyway, we got a letter here. Uh, performance evaluation. Name Richard Petermack. Supervisor Janice Greenbrier. Evaluation period ninth the second of nineteen ninety four. I I I don't like American date and time. It's very weird. Uh, okay, first of November nineteen ninety four. Oh, she got. I marks all fives. Supervisor comments. Ranger Pe uh, Peter March or Patter March Patter Mac has been indispensable during the course of the pre-described burn preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication has been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex, complex and challenging conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent uh, reassignment to this facility. Signed, Janice Grimbrough. Oh, okay, that is nice. So he got a promotion, did he? Well, good for you. Good for good for you. What, what was your name? Pattermack. Pattermack. Okay. Uh, just another quick look see around and a guess I'm guessing mother deers must have been a bit of a painter as well yeah that is absolutely lovely ain't it open door turn on light turn on more light again to keep the ghosties and the coolies away wow this is weepy Captain Allegra and the first mate. Your costume, my costume. Hell, Lonnie. So that must have been Sam and Lonnie. Oh, so they're doing a play together. That's interesting. Oh, and here's a cassette. Heavens to Betsy. Healthy choices, skills for a healthful life. Not going to bother with any of that nonsense. Just toss this here for a second. Can I open this drawer? No. And there's nothing in these boxes. Oh, 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 wait, wait, what do we have here? Examine the book. Opel La Rose, or La Rouge, or La Rue. Wildlife. He saved her from the raging flames, and then things really heated up. Oh, God, I bet they did. I mean, look at those man muscles. Mm mm mm. Opel La Rue is one of the most distinctive writers in our genre. Leslie Allen. A tour de force, wildfire. Wildfire is a uniquely beautiful display of La Rue, of La Rue's talent and Maloney. Okay, good to know. 
Nothing else? Okay, good, good. Oh, it's just a cassette case. Okay, the tape must be elsewhere. Okay, about done here. Oh, oh, drawer. Halloween show. The Misfits. They're awesome. Don't forget your costume. Sticky in lounge the 29th. Off the tent. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Okay, definitely Sam was going through her rebellious phase. Okay, enough of that. That sounded horrible. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if lights are or if red lights are on. Okay, I won't then. Oh, it's locked. So I have definitely, definitely, definitely missed a room or two. Wait, wasn't there a letter here that, that I missed in the last part? Okay, a composition book. But what? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I'm frozen here for a second. Uh, sightings journal, August 31st, 1994. 1.19 a.m. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note. I was not wearing my glasses. Okay, so that could have been anything. September 3rd, 1994, 12.44 a.m. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. September 9th, 1994, 4.11 p.m. Poured milk from the carton in the fridge. It was boiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Moo. Oh, moo. <laughs> because of the milk. Also, ghost milk. Ooh, spooky. October 9th, 1994, 11.24 p.m. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We built a protective pillow fort. Maybe the heat wasn't on. October 22nd, 1994, 11pm to 12am. Lonnie and I employ a Ouija board as a medium. The surrounding messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. October 28th, 1994, 10pm to October 29th, 4am. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and to help patrol premises recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the attic, probably leaky roof, sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. And this is the point where the ghosties and the ghoulies come out and try and scare the pants off of me. Good thing I'm not wearing pants. Hey Sam, you're asking what my... What? About my IROTC ribbons? Meant here is a handy guide. Orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team. The army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training. I am a born adventurous and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So if so it so if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Lonnie D. Yes, so. Yeah, Lonnie was a military girl. Alright, so we're slowly putting together the pieces. Okay, 
check the vents just in case there's anything down there. Check everywhere. Oh. Sternly written, sternly worded letter. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is the only... Who is only three years older than me and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal totally safe city on my own like a human being and since you may also remember that I have my own car now you can't really stop me. Warmest regards your daughter's meant to oh definitely a rebel without a cause. Sam, stop leaving every damn light on the house. You're as bad as your sister. Daniel called, Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Too bad, he ain't getting it back. I'm keeping it. It's mine. Didn't miss anything in here, did I? Oh, I missed this. Uh, notice of temporary personnel transfer. Bruce Pendleton, head of personnel or personnel. State Forestry Service to aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a ranger with expertise in procedures being transferred to the station at Flintlock National Forest. Effective the 2nd of 9th, 94. Please see attached personal file. The overseeing officers. There's a green bar. That's your transfer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, not really pertinent information. And I didn't open these. Oh. Controlled burns given for Boom County. Boom County plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boom County. I keep saying Boom. Boom County over the better part of the next week as part of the forestry service from Controlled Burn. <laughs> Janice Greenbrier. Okay, so Janice Greenbrier was in charge of that. Hmm. Okay. That is handy to know. Yeah, that door is still locked. Still haven't found the key. Wait, wait, oh, 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 what's this? Have a doggone cool 17th birthday. Happy birthday, Sam, Uncle Harvey. Oh, so you just turned 17, evidently. Uh, how long have I been recording? Only, only a few minutes, 10 minutes. Not that long. Uh, right, this is the plaque she made. She being uh, Sam. I couldn't have missed that key, could I? No, not nothing in any of these drawers. This one? Yeah, and I already read that. It's not up here. Hmm. I mean, I'm assuming that's what I need, a key. Play record. No, no, play it. I didn't play this before. Okay, no, 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 no. That's a little too spooky for me. <sighs> I mean, if only I could run, it would make things a lot faster. You know what? I'm just going to go back in here. I know I said I want to keep the game as linear as possible. And I don't think I was supposed to find this secret entrance way here. 
Or maybe it was, who knows. But I also want to open this up again. Oh no, it wasn't there. The, uh... The, the, Yeah, here we go. Yep, still dark. Examine map. So there's two more secret uh, nooks and crannies. Found one in the library. Uh, there's one in the main foyer, well, out, out by the hallway. And then mom and dad's room. And my room, so okay. I, I know where those two are. But where does this lead now? That is the question. Where's this? Oh, it's mom and dad's room. Okay. okay. No, no, close that, close that. Okay, this is getting a little spooky. Just a little spooky. Hmm. I didn't read any letters about or notes about any secret entrance ways, well, apart from the one that I found prior to finding it. Maybe I was supposed to find it. <gasps> oh, spooky Ouija board. Oh, drop that. Let's not interfere with the paranormal. Okay, one, hello. Two, who are you? Oscar, three, what do you want? To come by. To come by? I'm guessing that means to come back. Keep thinking I'm hearing someone breathing. Oh, here's the first part of the locker combination. Zero to open, turn first number left and right. Okay. Yes, because there is a locker in here that I've yet to open. Okay, so I'm guessing the second part of the note must be downstairs. Can't jump either. And the second nook is here. There you go. Read story. Private, do not read. The Green Glacier Part 2. Heaven at the Edge of the World. Oh, this is Sam's. And no, I'm not going to read it. Not enough time. And second part of the combo. Completed combination of Sam's locker added to backpack so do I have to open it myself or will it automatically open now that I have the full combination well only one way to find out oh okay all right so to go to my journal do I or my items Oh, here it is, 051. Easy peasy to remember. Ah, here we go. Grab cigarette pack. Oh, oh, here we go, basement key. And there's Lonnie. Well, today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's love story confirmed. And I found a key. A basement key. But where is the basement? That is the question. I'm guessing it's... Wait, let me check the map again. Okay, downstairs. 
Wait, down the floor. Oh, that's to the basement. And I'm guessing... I could I could be wrong, who knows. That might loop around to this door. Unless I find another key and I have to loop back again. So I'll just give it a quick look-see. Because I've been only recording for 20 minutes, so I can record for another 2 or 3 more. The hell? Oh, that's myself, okay. What's this? Can't close that, I'm afraid there's no door there, that's weird. Unlock, there we go. Ooh, spoopy. Oh, this is gonna be very spooky. I mean, this just screams spookiness. You know? I mean, after all, we were reading notes about ghost sightings and whatnot. Oh, no, more notes. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the... What? What? Potatoes? And also, it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny. How impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie D. A fancy man. Quite. <laughs> Wait, there's one more page. Dear Miss DeSoto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events. I must say, I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again, sometime, same time next year, shall we? Indeed, Madam Samantha Greenbrier, Esquire. I assume that's what ESQ stands for. Oh, crap, chips. I'm guessing these are well expired. Okay, how big is this area? What, what? Shouldn't be that big. Oh god, it's dark. It is very dark. There's the furnace. Oh man, what my old sex ed assignments. Oh, again. Not this stuff. Grab black. K is for kind, A is for amazing, I is for intelligent, T is for talented, L is for lighthearted, I is for important, N is for nice. Mm -hmm. Guess it is nice to be nice. Ooh, first place. All of this is my junk, is it? Okay, good to know. Good to know indeed. Getting spookier and spookier by the minute. Like I'm surprised I haven't run into any ghosts yet. Hmm. Oh. Richard Greenbrier, PhD, Professor Laureate of English, University of Oregon, Oregon, 1956. I guess somebody didn't like him that much because he punched his face right out of the picture. Whoa. That was incredibly violent. Anywho, I think I've done enough exploring. I've managed to progress a little bit. And maybe the next video will be the last, but who knows? That is very, very debatable. Examine scrap. 14 karat gold heart pendant in two halves, customizable with up to two 10 letter names, dates, initials, anything you can dream of, or anything you can dream up. Gift boxed, imported. L plus S. Oh, Lonnie and Sam. Think our gold uh, shell Sedoni pierced drop earrings, handmade and opalescent, semi-precious, imported. 
Oh, so this is what Sam must have bought Lonnie at some point. No. It's a love story. Sort of posing as a horror story. Not a horror, horror aspect is neither here nor there. In fact, it probably isn't any horror aspect because I haven't found anything scary. I've read about scary things, but scary things haven't happened to me. The only spooky aspect of the game is just the random noises, the creaks, and the thunder. Very off-putting. But I guess it's what gives it's what gives the game its uh, charm. Anywho, guys, enough rambling on. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, as always, I will see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.